Sai, 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Brittany and for today's video I wanted to do an orange eyeshadow look with an orange lip, an orange blush, and a bright under eye. Don't really know what to title it yet. I would consider this a nighttime makeup look, summer date night makeup look, girls night out makeup look. Hmm, I mean, I wear this in the daytime too, but this is a full-blown beat. I also used a lot of new makeup products, so this is kind of a first impressions video on all of the new makeup I used. My hair is from Elfin Hair, so I did do a video on this wig a while ago. I will link it here, but it's a hair and makeup video. I showed you guys how I installed this hair. It was really, really long, and I decided to cut it. The hair, the makeup, it just looks so good, you guys. So if y'all want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Of course, don't forget to like the video and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What's stopping you? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I've already prepped my eyes with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Cocoa. It's literally the perfect match for my skin. So I didn't want to do a very bright base because I'm only doing orange eyeshadow and I'm using the Omen Beauty Black Magic Carnival palette. These colors are very pigmented so I really don't need a bright base to really bring out to these colors. I'm first gonna go in with the shade Aruro. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but it's just this burnt orange. I'm using that shade for my outer corners. So I'm taking a fluffy brush and I am just packing it on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm also going to drag it towards the inner corners as well. I don't want a really bright orange. So when I say orange eyeshadow look, I don't want it to be a super bright orange. I want it to be a, you know, burnt orange, medium toned orange. I'm using a lighter orange called Nocteen Kill, and this is going to be my lid color, so I'm just packing that shade on. I am going to go back into that first shade and tone it down a little bit. Taking my first brush that I use, blending out that burnt orange a little bit more into that lighter orange. I'm just going to repeat those same steps on this eye. That is all what I'm going to do for my eyes. So now I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows with the same concealer, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Cocoa. Taking my angled eyebrow brush and I'm just cleaning up my brows. I already put mascara on my brows. I just did not clean them up. My brows look so much better. I'm going to quickly go put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Got my lashes on. My lashes are from Tati Lashes. They are in the shade shade <laughs> they are in the style tl10 the foundation i'm using is from juvia's place it's their velvet matte foundation and i got it in the shade 130 this is a matte foundation i am definitely going to hydrate my face before i put this on i just didn't want a lot of dewy makeup products on my face today the only thing i wanted on my face to be dewy or shiny was my lip combo that i'm gonna do um, I did already prime my face, but I'm going to prime it again because that was like an hour or two ago. So I'm going to do it again just to make sure that this does not settle into any of my pores and stuff. But this is the Power Grip e.l.f. Primer. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on my face, y'all. I just got to be sure just in case. I'm going to put it on my fingers first, warm it up with my fingers, and press it into my face. I'm gonna start off with a really small amount because this foundation is thick. I don't think I've ever had a foundation that's this thick, but that means I won't need a lot and the coverage will be amazing. Let's see how well this matches my face. I think the undertone of this one is neutral with red. I'm taking my foundation brush to buff it into my skin. This finish is very nice. It looks really, really smooth. A little dewy because I did spray that Fix Plus and I used my Power Grip primer. But now we're going to move on to my under eyes. The concealer I'm using is by Essence. It's their Camouflage Matte Concealer. And it's in the shade 70 Dark Caramel. This is also a mattifying concealer. It's 
So we're gonna start off with a little bit and blend it out. This is a full coverage concealer that's waterproof. And y'all, this concealer was only $3.99. I'm putting a little bit more concealer like right in here. Try not to overdo it. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some here, here, and here. I'm trying out this new setting powder by ColourPop. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It's in the shade Caramel. It's their no filter setting powder. I'm gonna set this concealer with a brush first, and I'm gonna apply my, my blush, and then go back and add some more of the setting powder. For my blush, I'm using the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush in the shade Cherry Orchard. This is how it looks. I'm actually gonna put it on the back of my hand to show you guys the color. Sometimes to me it looks a little red and then other times it looks like an orange, but when I put it on my actual skin, it looks more orange than red. And it's not as bright, definitely not as bright. I should have applied the liquid blush after my foundation, but I forgot, which is why I had to go in and set my concealer before applying this. So I just like to put the blush going across and I start off with a little amount because with this blush, a little goes a long way. I put it there and I just kind of work it into my cheeks going up. Going up and also going across. You guys will see. So first, I'm gonna spread it out with my finger. Do y'all see how bright that is? It is so pigmented too, like that. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just blend it out. I know y'all were probably scared at first from this to this. It's a very subtle orange. It's not super orange. And of course it's buildable. I might even add a little bit more. I'm not sure yet if I need it. I like to mix this blush into my concealer to get the perfect shade that I need. So that's honestly another reason why sometimes I do my concealer first and then the liquid blush. But most of the time I always do foundation then liquid blush. So that I don't have to go back and like add concealer, or add setting powder after the blush. Hmm. And do we need some more blush, you guys? Do I need some more? I think I need a little bit more. What do you guys think? I'm probably overdoing it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add some more. And I'm also gonna go over this blush with um, some translucent powder. So I don't want the translucent powder to wash out the color. So I'm just gonna add some more just to be on the safe side. Because once I add that translucent powder, I'm not adding any more blush. It's literally the perfect shade. It matches my eyeshadow and everything. Taking some more of that setting powder and just putting it directly underneath my eyes. The setting powder is really what brightens your under eye. You can use a really bright concealer, but it's really the setting powder that gives you the brightness, at least for me. So now I'm just pressing that in and blending it out. I'm just dusting off the extra setting powder. Get rid of me. Get rid of what? <laughs> what, Brittany? <laughs> I am getting rid of any harsh lines that I see on my face. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm gonna put a little bit of this setting powder right underneath my cheekbone. I like to use this setting powder for the bottom half of my face because it's easy to blend out and I don't have to worry about like the harsh lines and stuff that I'll get from my other setting powders. And this setting powder is also closer to my skin tone. The bronzer I'm using is from Ilia's. They're night light bronzing powder in the shade Songbird. I'm taking some more of that bronzer and I'm putting it on the sides of my nose. 
I don't know if I'm loving the setting powder. Normally my setting powders are translucent or a light tan color. And this setting powder has more yellow and golden undertones. So I really don't know if I love it. But also I need to see it after I spray my face down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I am gonna use the Fix Plus Setting Spray again by MAC to just spray down my face. While my face is drying, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner and also the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil. The LA Girl's in the shade Dark Brown and the NYX Pencil's in the shade Rebel Kind, I think. It will be listed down below for y'all. I'm gonna start off with a darker shade first. Then I'm gonna go in with my NYX pencil to warm up that brown. I only have two orange lip products. I have the Minted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Blood Orange. I also have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Honey Waffles. First, I'm gonna do the darker orange. This is a liquid lipstick, so I'm gonna start off with this. Um, I'm gonna do a small amount at a time. I don't know why I thought it was gonna look red, like a red orange. Well, because it says blood orange, but. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out. Oh, that is orange. Okay, so this is gonna be my base color. Before I add my Fenty Gloss, I'm gonna go back into my NYX pencil and soften up my lip liner. It looks like I just got done drinking Kool-Aid. I add a little bit of my Fenty Gloss Cream to lighten up that orange. Honestly, just want it on my bottom lip. I don't really want it on my top lip, the orange, so I'm gonna wipe it off really quickly. I'm just gonna top it off with my Clear Lip Gloss from MAC. I'm not rubbing my lips together. That's why I'm gonna do the top lip and the bottom lip. I'm gonna add that gloss to both. Love the lip combo. I think I'm gonna go in with more setting powder and I'm gonna put it right in here. Just to get rid of the shine. The blush that I used is a tinted moisturizing blush, so that's why it looks a little dewy, but I want it to be matte. I'm thinking about just using a translucent setting powder instead so it doesn't change the color of the blush. Mm, I might do that. I added translucent powder to this side, and can you guys see the difference? Shiny, matte, and I just feel like this side looks more smooth than this side. It looks a little grainy and it's just showing my texture. I'm not using a lot of the translucent powder. I'm just sweeping it across my face. I decided to add the translucent powder on top of the other setting powder. Honestly, just did not like the color. I just like the brightness. See, I like this side better. I feel like this makeup look was a little chaotic, but it did come together in the end. I really love it. I love the orange lip combo that I did. I also like the blush color, my eyes, just everything, and then my hair with it. Oh, it's just so, it's very chic. This is a sexy look for me. Date night, ooh, summer date night makeup look. That might be my title, I don't know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.